so hey everybody um what's going on yeah look if y'all don't even remember what what i look like these days i i wouldn't blame you at all um i haven't really uploaded here to this channel and i think a little over a month the last video i posted here was about why i'm still using my a7 IV in 2023 and for the record i still have that camera it's in my bag i i love it it's uh man it's, it's my only camera besides my a6000 that i use here for these youtube videos here at my desk but i i've i've been gone and uh for a good reason nothing bad has happened at all matter of fact it's the exact opposite something uh, wonderful has has happened um you know a couple months or so ago uh I, I was miserable, you know, I was uh, extremely overweight, and I still am, but that's what we're talking about today, okay? I wasn't sleeping well, I had horrible sleeping habits, and uh, my anxiety, my depression at, at, at an all-time high, like two months ago, it was uh, pretty bad. Around that same time, I decided to make a change, and that was to watch my diet again, to... Uh, you know hit the gym again calorie deficit all that jazz and well uh this photo you're seeing right here is from my stream over on twitch i went live for a little bit to just test out some new stuff and uh that's what i looked like that's what i looked like and to me it was disgusting i'm like i knew that i looked like that but in, until i saw a side by side with what i'm going to show you right now it really didn't click in about how big I really let myself get. Uh, nearly 255 pounds, uh, but my my biggest was a few years ago when I was nearly two like 270. So I lost 20 pounds to stay around 250, 255, and I was okay with that. But things have got to change, y'all. I'm no longer happy with that. So this photo right here, I'm gonna put them up side by side. It was from last night. I did a little test stream again over on Twitch to just check some stuff out, say hi to my community for old time's sake. And whenever I put these two photos side by side, I was like, my jaw actually dropped. Uh, from starting this whole journey two months or so ago, I'm down another basically full 20 pounds. I have a ton more muscle. Uh, I'm hitting the gym at least three, four days a week, sometimes five days a week if I can squeeze like some cardio in or something. I want to be fully transparent here, here, everybody. I hate cardio. Like I hate it so much to where if you see me running away or if you just see me running in general, you should probably run the same way I am because we're probably being chased by something like that's like zombie apocalypse, a T-Rex, whatever. Like I, I truly hate cardio. You know what I mean? But it is a really good workout. It is a really great way to lose weight. It 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 truly is. But I've I've lost this 20 pounds in like two months from just a carnivore diet, uh, a calorie deficit, stacking up on protein, making sure I'm getting plenty of fiber, and just more importantly, out of everything, just trying to get a good night's sleep, which thankfully I actually am now. Yeah, I still have bags on, underneath my, my eyes, but... I am sleeping a lot better. I'm sleeping a full seven, eight hours a night, which for me is perfect. And uh, but you know, you get in that what's what like what's it called a sleep deficit? I think it's called where like if if you actually don't sleep good or long long enough for multiple nights in a row, it can actually compound upon itself, and you can just be behind like literally you can be behind on sleep you know what i mean so i'm still trying to catch up a little bit but i'm doing a lot better than what i used to um i've i've noticed ever since i've been on this new diet that you know um again i'm sleeping better my overall mood is better you know like yeah i still have some depression and some anxiety but in this day and age who doesn't but i'm able to recognize it i'm able to be way more self-aware about it and I'm able to correct it and essentially watch real time compared to just letting it play out and just let it do its own thing. Like I'm able to say, no, I'm feeling down right now. Why is that? What can I do to correct that? Let's do that and move on. You know, that's a really big thing for me because I was on medication for my depression for about, I think, two, three, three, four years. So the fact that I'm actually off of, of my medication now and doing way better without it. I'm very proud to say that. Now, again, that's just for me. If you're on medication for that kind of stuff, 
talk to your doctor for obvious reasons. It's what I did. So just take it there for what you will. Okay. Now, of course, this channel is about tech. It's about camera gear. So this definitely isn't going to turn into a gym or fitness channel by any means. But but if you're interested in following along with my progress, you can follow me over on Instagram, over, over on Twitter. And I'm even trying out that new threads thing. Like, I don't know. Like, it's different, but I don't see myself leaving Twitter anytime soon for anything else. So uh, you can follow me on threads, too, if you want. I'll leave everything down below. But again, I rarely ever actually use it. So just, yeah, whatever. But, you know, this... Um, I'm I'm so proud of myself for taking that first big step to actually recognize, hey, I'm not healthy. I don't like the way that I look. And taking that first step back into the gym, getting myself into a routine again. Um, I'm 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 grateful. I took a chance on myself to just bite the bullet and do it. It was very scary because I've I've tried this stuff be before and I've always gained the weight back because well depression I know it's horrible to blame that but I I was the kind of person to always turn to food for comfort and I still do but I make sure it's good for me now I watch what I eat and I don't uh, I, I I never used to actually binge or anything like that. But I used to eat a ton of sweets, like, like you know, a ton of snack cakes, a, a, a ton of junk food. Like that was my vice, like that was my go to, you know, but it's not anymore. Now I'm downing protein shakes instead or I'm eating salads or I, guys, I eat so much chicken these days. I'm pretty sure I could buy stock with how much money I've actually spent on Tyson chicken products. OK, I am just you know what I mean, like I am just saying I uh, it's like it's 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 ridiculous. But luckily, though, you, you you like you can make chicken taste like basically anything that you you want. So it never actually gets boring for me. And that's the reason why I'm able to keep going with this, because I make it taste good. It fills me up low calorie, so much protein. And it's uh, yeah, it's just, it's just yeah, just, you know, it's 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 a different lifestyle than what I'm used to. I'm used to just sitting here at my, my desk all day playing games or working on something. And uh, it's it's definitely snapped me back to to reality in like the the best way possible, you know. But yeah, I just wanted to give you all a little up update. Videos will be coming back out soon. A matter of fact, I'm getting some notes together for, you know, my camera again, my A7 IV. Because I had some people ask me, hey Terry, what would you recommend? A full frame sensor camera or a crop sensor camera? For your first camera or just in general so i want to do a little video about that cannot wait and uh yeah just thank you all so much for the support everybody over 200 subs here on this channel y'all are insane just thank you so much and i will uh, catch you guys and gals next time